A brutal heat wave may be coming to an end along the East Coast, but it is a different story in the South. Temperatures hit triple digits in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, as well as Dallas and El Paso, Texas. The heat is being felt acutely in some of the nation's schools. And as Meg Oliver reports, some classrooms are doing better than others. Students in the nation's largest public school district headed back in the sweltering sun today. It's really hot. It's going to feel like 100 degrees today. The majority of New York City public schools have air conditioning after spending millions of dollars in 2017. As long as it's running, I think it should be okay. The heat was on in Massachusetts today, too, but in Boston, the first day back was a breeze. Inside the majority of our schools, it is very cool and comfortable. Last year, Boston Public Schools installed 3,800 new air conditioners, partially funded by federal pandemic grants. Now the $9 million investment is having a big payoff. We can predict that things are going to be warmer and hotter. This was something for students and staff that was needed for them to be able to Again, focus on teaching and learning, be comfortable in the buildings. A recent study found that students scored increasingly worse on standardized tests when temperatures were above 80 degrees. Dozens of districts across 10 states have been forced to close or dismiss early this week because of inadequately cooled classrooms. Back in New York, four-year-old Sophie had a cool first day of kindergarten. And Meg Oliver joins me now. You know, Meg, this is such a big issue. And I'm wondering, in cities that prioritized air conditioning for students, we saw some of that in your piece, how did they make that happen? Well, Boston is such a, a big, shining example of a success story. They took about $9 million out of the virus relief funds that they received after the pandemic out of $400 million. And they prioritized that and said, we need to put air conditioning in the majority of our schools. Last year, they had about 20 schools with air conditioning. This year, that number has jumped up to close to 80. And so it has been a huge success. We also saw that here at this school here in New York City, as people were coming out of school today, they dedicated that money a few years ago. But parents were relieved. They were able to send their kids in on such a hot day, knowing there would be air conditioning inside. However, a lot of these older cities, Philadelphia, Newark, Detroit, they all have these pre-war buildings, antiquated systems, and it's going to take a lot of money, um, bonds, different things, different ideas to get enough money together to bring air conditioning units into these buildings that really can't support it. There's so many changes that need to be made. So many changes and the effects really are profound when you talk about the differences in learning when children are too hot in those classrooms. Meg Oliver, it's an important reporting. Meg, thank you.